Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of Small Business Champion Bundle. Today we're going to talk you through a to-do list template. You know, how do you keep track of, of everything that's critical and who's been assigned what and how do you do all of that for your small business? That is coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham of Small Business Champion Bundle. What I'm going to walk you through this week is a to-do list, a, a fairly simple to-do list, but there's some things that you need to consider when putting together and using a to-do list. First off, just a simple list really isn't good enough. You need to be able to categorize what things are important, what things are not important. You need to be able to figure out what the priorities are. You need to be able to assign status on whether something is in progress or whether it's been completed and a completed date and who it's been assigned to. And ideally, you would even like to be able to filter on things that are assigned to you or things that are assigned to someone who works for you or works in your organization. Be able to see all the things that are assigned to them and what the progress rating is on those. So the template I'm about to walk you through will do all of that for you. It's already set up. The template's already prepared for you. You just have to type in the names of the people that you work with and what your priority levels are. So stay tuned for the next part of the tutorial. We'll walk you through the entire template and show you how to input your own business information for your own projects. That is coming up next. Hello everyone, this is Rick Grantham and welcome back to the template portion of the tutorial. Now, when you first pull up the template, the first thing you'll be met with is this title screen. We'll move right past this. Assume that you know how to download books from links and join Facebook groups, etc. So let's go straight to the to-do list and show you how to interact with this. Uh, first thing, you'll notice there's some things over here on the right-hand side, which are your instructions. We'll get past the instructions and actually walk you through this. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that there's a number of categories across the top. And this is just dummy data in here now. It's, you know, it's not real data, so to speak. So this will be in here also whenever you first pull this up. Let's just go through the categories and show you how you can add to it. Uh, first off, there's the assigned date. You'd be able to put in your own date here. There's the person who this is assigned to. You'll notice in the assigned to is actually a drop down menu. We'll show you how to alter that in just a moment. Uh, there's also the task name where you can type in whatever the task is that the person's working on. The notes that you have for that task, a category. So in the event that you want to categorize things in your to-do list, there's an option to do that here. And you'll notice there's a drop down list here as well. These have been numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, just so they show up in a chronological order. So that's here, but we'll show you how to alter this drop-down list as well. There's also a status on whether or not things are in progress or not started or completed and all of that. That's also a drop-down list, and we'll show you how to alter that drop-down list as well. Uh, same thing with priority. It's also a drop-down list. Everything from critical, whether it's low, high, low, medium, or high priority, you can alter this list as well. There's also a date that things are due and completion date. Now, once you have things in this sort of a format, uh, because, because this is built on a table, you have the option up here at the very top where it says assign to. You'll notice each of these have little drop down menus down here. So, what that means from this drop down menu in the, in the title bar, you know, in the title bar of the drop down, this allows you then to I can actually select things that are just assigned to Rick as an example. You'll see all the things that are assigned to me are in the category of relaxation. Uh, but you could also see things that are assigned to other people. So we'll just bring everybody back up. We could also uh, view different things that are in, we'll say, the product build category. And all of those happen to be on hold. We could do the same thing with progress and the different status that people are. So we can just deselect and select the things that we're the most interested in. So that we can bring those to the top so that we can manage our to-do list and manage the things that are doing our projects. So now that you have an idea of how to sort and how to filter, let's show you how you actually change the things that are in the body here that are in the drop-down menu. You know, things like offer design. How do you actually change this? The way that you would change these things is to go over to the to-do setup tab. It's down here at the bottom. And the to-do setup tab, in addition to the instructions you'll see here, are, is your opportunity to come in and alter the things that are in this list. So the things that you alter in this list will now show up in the drop-down menu. Uh, you could do the same thing here and actually add things to the bottom of this list and it will 
add things to the drop down menu. So as an example, assign to, if we wanted to type in to something very off the wall, giraffe, as an example, um, what you'll see, and the same thing with category and status and priority, you can go in and change these or add additional fields if you want to. But as we go back to the to-do list now, in the assign to, in the drop down, as we scroll down, you'll see now giraffe is one of the options, so you can assign things to giraffe. So that is a to-do list, simple to-do list, but it's already configured for you, already the drop downs are already created, you don't have to figure out how to do drop downs, you don't need to have to figure out how to put all the filters, the tables, and everything else in place, you don't need to worry about all that, we've handled all that for you. So, this is Rick Grantham of the Small Business Champion Bundle. I'd like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe right about now underneath me. There should be a subscribe button. Feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Or over on the right-hand side, there should be a number, of, uh, a number of other videos and templates that we've done. Feel free to click on those. We put out these templates and we put out these tutorials around the small business on a regular basis, on a weekly basis at least. So go ahead and subscribe and you can stay up to date on those. Until next time, this is Rick Grant from the Small Business Champion Bundle. Thank you.